Hi everyone, this is Gabby from Brain Education TV. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We post weekly videos about wellness tips for the brain. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to bust four myths about the brain based on brain education principles and also some scientific studies. These myths are based on common ideas and beliefs that people have about the brain, but looking at evidence and some brain education principles, you can see that they simply just might not be true. If you're new to brain education, it's a comprehensive system of mind-body trainings that enable the brain's capacity to create physical, mental, and emotional health. It's been researched at the top universities and research institutions, and it has been practiced for over 40 years by millions around the world. Brain Education was founded by meditation expert and author Ilchi Lee, and these principles that I will share with you are a big part of his teaching. So let's get started with the four myths. Number one, as the brain gets older, it cannot learn new things. For about 130 years, scientists failed to identify new brain cell growth in adult human beings. That all changed in 1998 when a Swedish team discovered a process in the brain called neurogenesis, which forms new brain cells in the hippocampus, and the hippocampus is what governs our memories. This is also backed by brain education principles that explain that no matter what age you are, you will always keep producing new brain cells until the day you die. Number two, the brain is just an organ that controls your physical body and mind. Yes, the brain does just that, but according to brain education principles, the brain also governs your spirituality. There is a small organ in the brain called the pineal gland, and it's also known as the third eye, and it houses your intuition, your clarity, and your wisdom. A core teaching of brain education says that your divine spirit resides within your brain, so when you get more connected to it, you can more easily solve life's problems, solve your relationships, and all those things through your brain. Number three, we only have five senses. We do have the normal five senses of touch, sight, hearing, smell, and taste. But according to brain education principles and research done since the 1930s by highly acclaimed universities, we also have a sixth sense and it's called extrasensory perception. The sixth sense is rooted in the third eye, as I talked about before, and it gives us the ability to sense energy and spirituality within the brain. Every person has it. It just depends on how open that sense is and how trained that person is to feel it. An example of a brain game that helps you feel your sixth sense is sticking a metal spoon on your forehead and not letting it fall off while you're sitting up straight. I made a video about this a few weeks ago, so I'll link it on the screen and down below so you could try it as well. Number four, the brain is hardwired and humans are either left or right brain dominant. So we have all heard that right brain people tend to be more creative and left brain people tend to be more analytical and logical. But the brain is actually not that hardwired since humans use both hemispheres of their brain for all cognitive functions. The brain is very flexible and has incredible plasticity. Research has shown that we perform better as humans when the entire brain is utilized, even when something is associated with only one part of the brain. A link on the screen and down below a brain game video that I did on how to increase your neuroplasticity and create more connections in your brain. All right, that was enough brain myth busting for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We look at and respond to every single comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video.